वेलकम टू माई चैनल क्वेश्चन बैंक दिस इज द वीडियो जी सेट थर्टी बाई इसरो आई एम अपलोडिंग आज इम्पोर्टेंट डिटेल्स फॉर करेंट अफेयर्स एंड आई विल इन दिस टॉपिक इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द एग्जाम्स एज करेंट अफेयर्स आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश वीडियो लाइक दिस इन दिस चैनल क्वेश्चन बैंक इन प्ले लिस्ट टेक्निकल अफेयर्स इन हुई only current affairs related to science and technology will be discussed now let's start the today's topic that is g sat 30 by isro this is the press release by isro and yesterday that means 17 january 2020 Indian Space Research Organisation has successfully launched a heavy satellite named GSAT-30. What are the important points? I will only mark out the important points. India's this one is the communication satellite. Its name and successfully launched from the space craft spaceport in French Guiana during the French Guiana. This is. in south america prince guiana is the part of france colony and the launch vehicle was an 5 va251 and the launch base was kurou launch base kurou launch base this is placed in prince guiana and Another thing is its mass is 3,357 kg, and it is placed in a geosynchronous orbit. It is placed in a geosynchronous orbit. It is. It will be operated for DTH television service. Connectivity to VSATs for ATM, stock exchange, television uplinking, and teleport services, digital satellite news gathering, and e-governance applications. The satellite will also be used for bulk data transfer for a host of emerging telecommunication applications. This is the main important thing because the satellite is a communication satellite. and the master control for the satellite is at hassan in karnataka it is placed in geo stationary orbit sorry i have told geo synchronous this is geo stationary orbit at around 36000 km above the equator and let's have the these are the images published by isro and these are the glimps that is in that book g sat 30 and here we can see all the applications and all these things its mass the spacecraft power 6 kw and area coverage per K U band India and Indian mainland and island and for sea band wide coverage is also covering some part of Australia and all neighboring countries of India Gulf countries also these are the parts Asian countries and Australian last number of Gulf countries and whole india this is not the first time we are going we, we have help we have taken the help of french government previously we have taken help for g sat g sat 11 10 8 and 7 all these satellites are launched by french help and this is the end of the topic 
kindly subscribe to this channel don't forget to like and share with your friends thank you